common requirement for a data grid is the ability to filter the content. One way we can do that with the Vaughn grid is by adding a second header row where we add an input for the filtering. The way we do that is by getting the header from our grid and calling add row on that. In the new header row, we want to add an input, so we're going to create one with document that create an element. And on the newly created input, we want to listen on key up events so that we can filter on each key stroke. Here we're going to call a filter method that we're going to implement in just a second. First, we're going to add the new filter input into the header. Here we use get cell with the index of the newly created cell and add the input as the content. So the final thing that we need to do is implement the actual filter method. The way we do that is that we take the underlying JavaScript array and use the filter method built into JavaScript on it. The only thing that we really need to do here is look at the input value from the field and see if that's somewhere within the first name. So if we now save this and type something into the input field, we can see that the content gets filtered as it should.